Thank you. In Judaism, we have three major holidays where we celebrate huge miracles the Jewish people have experienced as a nation. On Pesach, we have a Seder to commemorate the 10 plagues and the splitting of the Red Sea. On Shavuot, we remember the giving of the Torah directly from God to us on Har Sinai. And on Sukkot, we try to re-experience the feeling we had when God's Shekhinah, or Divine Presence, was protecting us through the cloud of glory. Of course, the minor holidays, such as Purim and Hanukkah, are just as important, since they teach us to see God's hand in world events, which could easily be seen as mere coincidences. But what about the hidden miracles that we experience on a daily basis? One of the reasons for the destruction of the first and second Beit HaMikdash was that the Jews sinned and weren't able to see God's hand in their daily lives. We constantly forget about these everyday miracles that happen from the time we get up to the time we go to sleep. The rabbis also recognize the importance to not take these miracles for granted by making the very first blessings and prayers that we say in the morning acknowledging God's gift of life. One of them are Moda'ani. Moda'ani lefanecha melechai vekayam shehechazarta binishmati becham l'arabe emunatecha, which means they offer thanks to you, living and eternal king, for you have mercifully restored my soul within me. Your faithfulness is great. We are reminded to thank God that we have woken up, and there's something powerful in that as we begin our day. But sometimes it could take a crisis to help us realize how much we need to appreciate what God gives us. One thing that had a really big impact on my life was the birth of one of my sisters, Noachaya, who has Down syndrome. Noah was my first sister, and I had hoped to become great friends with her. But after finding out she had Down syndrome, I worried I might not be able to relate to her as much, and I might even feel embarrassed of her. But soon, my feelings of fear changed to feelings of love. Her loving nature had won me over. I also feel that having Noah as a sister had helped me improve my midot, or values, by becoming more accepting and sensitive to others. But a few years ago, I almost lost Noah. Shabbat was almost over, and we were eating sudash lishit, which is a third meal customary to eat on Shabbat, and Noah started to choke on some food. My parents tried everything they could to remove it from her throat, but to no avail. They called 911. Noah was rushed to the hospital and was put under a medically induced coma for three weeks. Her pediatrician, once receiving the medical report, told us the prognosis was not good. The entire San Diego Jewish community got together and set up to Hillen prayer groups to pray for her recovery. A rabbi, once knowing that Noah was not doing well, said that everything would be okay. He gave them a blessing, saying that Nisan was a month of miracles, and we too would experience a miracle with Noah. We did experience our own miracle in Nisan, since Noah had fully recovered and was able to spend the last two days of Pesach with her family. From this experience, I realized we can't just be thankful after biblical miracles or during major holidays. We need to be thankful every day. We need to appreciate the things we might not think even matter much. Miracles can be as big as a sea splitting, but can also be as small as being able to see the smiling face of a younger sister. Thank you very much. Happy people are more loving, more forgiving, more creative. Turns out that this positive psychology research has roots that are very deeply set in Jewish wisdom. And they inform some of the problems facing the Jewish community today.